One down and three to go for the Illinois State football team in its quest for an FCS national title. Hello again, everybody. I'm Ronan O'Shea for GoRedbirds.com and Redbird HDTV. And this is another edition of the Redbird Playoff Preview as the Illinois State football team knocked off Appalachian State over the weekend and gets set to take on Eastern Washington this weekend in Cheney. On today's show, we will take a look back on the win at App State, preview the matchup against the Eagles, and chat with senior wide receiver Tyrone Walker. But we start in Boone, North Carolina, where Shelby Harris's blocked extra point set off a wild celebration for the Redbirds. A game like this in this kind of stage and be able to win it in overtime is uh, a real statement of our players and their hard work and their mental toughness. We've been uh, kind of been road warriors all year and uh, did it again today, so I'm very, very proud of our team. We've all worked so hard to uh, get to this point and just the fact that we were able to come out of here with a win is is just beyond words right now. And, uh, you know, we, we just we know that uh, we got to be able to put this one to bed and uh, and get ready for next week um, because it is you win, win or you go home. So uh, we're just we're just happy that we can keep winning. I was ecstatic just the fact that we just won the game. Like we all played so hard, both teams, and Appalachian State is a great team, and we came in here and beat them, and that's just it means a lot. I mean, it shows a lot of how Coach Speck prepared us throughout the week and how the team played throughout the game. So the Redbirds get to nine victories for the first time since 2006. And we're joined now in studio by senior wide receiver Tyrone Walker. Tyrone, busy time of the year for you. Thanks for coming by. Oh, no problem. No problem. You know, you've been waiting four years to get to this point. Uh, four years of regular season games, off-season workouts, to finally get that opportunity in the postseason. You make the most of it with one of the best games of your career, and most importantly, the Redbirds keep rolling on. Well, I mean, that was the goal. We heard everybody talking, saying we didn't belong, all this. Um, we heard them. We didn't really listen, but we heard them. Um, we took it to heart, and we just wanted to make a statement. It's fuel, though, for you when you hear other fans or other media saying, hey, maybe they don't belong. You, you take that personally? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, when, you, when, you, when you're playing for the conference championship or your last game of the season in the toughest conference in this division, then you're going to know that you belong. So, I mean, we feel that it was kind of wrong for everybody to be like, they shouldn't be here. They lost to two teams that weren't even ranked. Those teams would probably beat a lot of other teams in a lot of different conferences. It felt like there were times, too, during that game that maybe Matt Brown started to just take over a little bit. There were times where you at wide receiver started to take over the game, and the same thing can be said on defense and special teams very good as well. This was a real team effort in every sense of it, going on and beating a three-time national champion on the road in a real tough environment. Yeah, no doubt. Um, we knew that we would have to play good in every phase of the game. Offense, defense, special teams, of course. Um, we had to win the hitting yardage battle in order to win the game. Our front our front played good on both offense and defense. Um, they set the tone early. What about Matt Brown's performance? I mean, you and him have been working so well together for the last four years. Over 300 yards, five touchdowns in the air, no turnovers. I can honestly say that that is like the first time we've had a game like that since probably my sophomore or junior year early on when we had to score a lot of points. Like, we had to score that game, but we haven't had to score a lot to win the game because our defense has been so good. When we used to have to score a lot of points, there were times where it could just come to me and it just clicks. Now i got to ask you this. Uh, when you look at Eastern Washington, everybody notices the turf first. You're a big fashion guy with the yellow gloves and everything. What do you think when you see that red turf? 
Um, I wish we had red turf. <laughs> um, the red turf, it's nice. They kind of get you when they wear the red jerseys. Kind of throws you off a little bit. You can't really tell like where their alignment is at sometimes because you lose them for a second. You have to just focus in a little bit more. Um, if, if we had red turf and the fans wore red, it would be pretty, pretty sweet. Kind of like Boise, you know, they say they get, they get the advantage where they wear blue. Um, the red turf just gives something else for the other team to think about. Well, it's definitely unique, and there's not a lot of wide receivers, though, that go with the uh, yellow gloves either. Yeah, um, maybe I'm a, I might change it up and wear red just to blend in a little bit. Maybe they'll lose me or something. We'll see how it goes. Really looking forward to the game this weekend. Uh, Tyrone, before we let you go, uh, congratulations to you, too. You come in here, you set all types of records as a wide receiver, and uh, you'll be graduating here a little bit later this month in three and a half years. That's uh, quite an accomplishment. Yeah, it, seem, it seems like I just arrived yesterday, man. I, was, I just got on campus. I was mad at all the coaches. I wasn't starting. I felt I should have been starting, but, I mean, it all worked out for the best. Well, let's keep it going, all right? I'm, I'm not ready to be done with this this weekend. Yeah, no doubt. Good stuff. Tyrone Walker, senior wide receiver. We'll take a quick timeout. When we come back, we will take a closer look at Eastern Washington. Redbird fans, did you know you can now purchase and print tickets to your favorite Redbird sporting events from home? Head on over to GoRedbirds.com, click Tickets, and select your favorite Redbird sporting event. What are you waiting for? You're just a couple clicks away from printing your tickets at home, which means no waiting in line when it's game time. Go to GoRedbirds.com to print your tickets today. Welcome back to the show. So next up for the Redbirds is a matchup with Eastern Washington. Let's take a closer look at the Eagles. Eastern Washington University is a public institution located in Cheney, Washington, about 15 miles outside of Spokane. The university was established in 1882 and currently has 12,000 students. The Eagles call 11,000 seat Roos Field their home but the stadium is best known for its iconic red turf. The Eagles have had unprecedented success in recent years, including an FCS national championship in 2010. Fourth year head coach Bo Baldwin guided Eastern Washington to impressive victories over Montana State, Montana, and FBS Idaho, with the only losses coming to Washington State and Southern Utah by a combined seven points. The Eagles defeated Wagner 29-19 last weekend in Cheney as 6'5 All-American wideout Brandon Kaufman had 10 catches for 174 yards. Quarterback Kyle Padrone made his first start since September 8th and threw for 327 yards. The Eagles averaged 31 points per game on offense. Defensively, Jerry Seah paces the squad with 11 sacks while Ronnie Hamlin has tallied 117 tackles. Before we go, let's take a look now at the updated FCS brackets now that we're down to the final eight teams. The winner of Illinois State and Eastern Washington will face either three-seed Montana State or Sam Houston State. In the top half of the bracket, there were no real upsets last weekend. Old Dominion will host Georgia Southern, while fellow Missouri Valley Conference foe and top-seeded North Dakota State takes on Wofford. So all that's left now is to go out west to Cheney, Washington. It will be a 5 o'clock central kickoff on Saturday, and you can watch that game on ESPN3. If you're interested in making the trip out west, you can get tickets online at GoRedbirds.com or through the Redbird Ticketing Office. If you can't go, don't worry about it. We've got you covered right here at Redbird HDTV. And remember, for all things Illinois State football, look no further than GoRedbirds.com.